Hello, good evening. You're welcome to your loved and cherished program. Rima with Bishop and I'm your host, Bishop and Mr. Brookman. You'll hear here with me in the studio. And this wonderful gentleman, Pastor Charles Hagen. Gentlemen, today's episode will be a bit different, and I will never take uh, too much of your time today because you know we are in the transition period. RCC Hacho uh, station behind the MTM building um, is finally moving to Popia um, ACP opposite the high tension bus stop where our new church building is located. So Today, yesterday, tomorrow, subsequent days, he's been packing, you know, so I'm tired. So I will not be um, um, taking too much of your time because right from here, we are even hitting the website. And then tomorrow morning service is going to be special. Tomorrow's mo tomorrow morning service is going to be the last um, um, program, that, and the last meeting, the last service that we're having at Hacho, RCC Hacho. And so, we just want to encourage everybody listening to us to be part of it. We're inviting everybody to come in the Anambas tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. for the prophetic prayer service because the Lord spoke to me. He had a word for everybody to come. All right, so that's why we're having today's meeting. Gentlemen, you're welcome once again. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Yeah, first of all, Pastor Yuma, um, how has the preparations be, been like? You have been at the site and uh, you've been deeply involved in whatever that is happening there. Um, any word for our dear um, viewers? Um, God has been very gracious. God, God has been merciful to us. He says, oh, And, and we're able to build that edifice in how many months? Because last December, we laid the foundation and then we took off. I recall when we went there to do the, um, the crossover prophetic all night, um, when people came by the way, and then we, 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 had, we had a tremendous moment, you know, in the, the presence of God. I recall when we went there. We had never done any work. I mean, there's a foundation. Within six months, God has been too good to us. We've been able to build the huge hall. Mm -hmm. Huge hall, which can take about um, 1,000 to 1,500, you know, seater capacity for, for, for the youth. And then we're trusting God that the next six months to we'll build the, the gallery. We have uh, three galleries, right, sure. you know, up there. You know, so what do you have to say, Pastor Charles, to our viewers? about the Rima Embassy? Well, it's, it's an exciting time. It's, it's, it's an exciting thing to watch what God is doing. Mm -hmm. Want to see my face, please? Uh -huh. I, I was, I was happened to be on the side together with the bishop this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Speed, which the people were working. <laughs> Everybody was busy doing something. Mm -hmm. It means that on Wednesday, come Wednesday morning when the program starts. The That's the, 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 the Sit anniversary Sit conference. Anniversary. It starts on Wednesday. Morning, so okay, so Tuesday will be just our last program here. Yeah. That's the morning prophetic service here at the Hacho uh, behind the MTM building. And then Wednesday morning. Start at Ukwasi. My goodness. <laughs> that's that's marathon, eh? I'll continue. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll I will encourage everybody to be at the program. Yes. Especially tomorrow's one. The last service. Mm. The last service. I think in John chapter 7, the Bible said on the last day of the feast, the great day of the feast, Jesus mm. rose up and said that if anybody is thirsty, let him come unto me. Mm. It means that there is a last day blessing. Mm. There is a last day I like that. Preach. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> and so, tomorrow, if you want the last day blessing of Hachu, it cannot be anywhere than RCC Hachu. And then on Wednesday morning, if you want the early blessing, because mm. that will be the first ever service. Mm. 
at the new place. At the Rima at the Embassy. Rima Embassy. <laughs> Come on Rima now. Embassy. <laughs> Can't miss any of the days. It's a 12-day power pack program starting on Wednesday. I know that my father is anointed. Mm -hmm. His anointing was, will be available in the auditorium to bless. Mm -hmm. You can't afford to miss. Can you, look, can you um, give the location, the direction it's, again? It's on the Kwabenya is, uh, ACP Junction Road. Mm -hmm. On the right side, opposite the high tension bus Best stop. stop. Opposite the, the high tension is on the left. And then the, from Kwabenya is on the left. And then the church is on the right. From ACP towards Kwabinya, the church is on the left and the high tension is on the right. Mm -hmm. Please make sure you don't miss it. Amen. Amen. Yeah, about the um, conference. The theme is Step Up. Step Up. And it's captioned the Next Level Conference. And of course, we are moving from here to the next level. Mm -hmm. And I believe our viewers, the Rima family, who have been watching Rima TV, are also expectant, trusting God to move to the next level of their lives. Um, Pastor Ima, what, 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 what should the people expect? And it's a 12 days program. You know, yeah. the number 12 is a foundational number. And we pray God gave us 12 days because it's a new place. We're going to break grounds and raise new foundation. Because the foundational number 12, mm -hmm. governmental number, want to govern the area. Mm -hmm. You know, so... Um, what should people expect and why must they travel from Wale Wale to come to Accra and come and lodge somewhere around the Rima Embassy mm -hmm. to be part of this great mm -hmm. gas program? Mm -hmm. the, the scripture says that for the expectation of the righteous oh, no. shall never be cut off. Once upon a time, there were these people who were distressed, they were in debt. Um, despondent and the Bible said that they cleave unto David mm. and at the at the end of the story they became the mighty men of David so in the cave of Adullam eh? in the cave of Adullam mm. so at one point in their life they were in debt they didn't have anything but the, when they came in contact with the anointing mm. the, anointing, the anointing transformed their lives and they became the mighty men of David to the extent that one of them was able to kill a lion they did mighty works because they got close to the anointing so this conference is tailor-made for you our bishop is anointed <laughs> our bishop is anointed so just come in contact with the anointing and we believe that the anointing on our father bishop brookman is going to make you a mighty man of mm. your life will never be the same as you'll be a partaker of this conference in Jesus' name. Well, just, what do you have to say to our dear viewers tonight about the conference and uh, why they should travel from Tamale, Bogatanga, Ho, Hohoi, Abakamba to come to Accra to be part of this program and what should they expect? I will, I will urge everybody to be part of this program because you should expect the first thing is that Jesus will be in the conference. Very important. The anointing of my father will be available in the conference. Mm. Because all the sons carry the anointing of the father. And he, the father's anointing will be available. The bishop himself will be there to bless us. Mm. Amen. So once, once, one thing I can tell you is that when you come, you will encounter Jesus. That's you right. Encounter, encounter the Holy Ghost in a new dimension. So true. And once I remember I brought um, one of when I was on campus, I brought someone to, to church on a Sunday. And after service, I was like, is this your normal Sunday service or is a program we are doing? <laughs> so, oh, this is what we experienced. So if that was a normal Sunday, imagine a 12-day prophetic conference. A groundbreaking conference. A groundbreaking yeah. conference at that matter, <laughs> coupled with an anniversary celebration. <laughs> it's going to be super explosive. You can't miss it for anything in the world. Yeah. You can't. And um, what's the date it's and the time? It's starting on the 3rd, which is coming Wednesday, mm. um, to the 14th um, of July. That's right. um, it's in two sessions. We have the morning and the evening section. Mm. The morning session starts um, exactly 9 in the morning. That's right. 9. Hot prayer. Hot prayer. Hot prayer. Then uh, 9 to 12, 30. And the 9 morning, I'll be taking the prayer myself. Wow. Before the preaching comes on. Yeah, wow. Continue. Wow. Uh, 
I can't miss <laughs> I can't miss it. <laughs> Yeah. Then the evening section, um, is at six thirty. Six thirty. Um, you can afford to miss it. So morning and evening session, and this program has two major all nights. That's right. Two major all nights. So the normally we do our programs and then we just have one all night in there. Yeah. But because this is a special package, in the sense that we having the anniversary combined with the the groundbreaking. We're having two all nights in it. I think the first one is on the 5th of July, and then the second one is on the 12th yes, of July, yes, 9 p.m. every night. Mm -hmm. uh, Pastor, could you tell them some of the things they should expect in all the, uh, in all the days, especially the all nights? Especially the all nights. You should expect, like I said, Jesus in the auditorium, the, the anointing of the Father in the auditorium can bring every sick person If you need a prophecy, this is a conference for you because mm -hmm. it's a prophetic conference. Mm -hmm. You need a miracle. Once Jesus is in the in the in the in the atmosphere, and my Father's anointing is available. There will be miracles. There will be signs. There will be wonders. There will be blessing, unlimited. And what we are doing is that we are catching the blessing in the area. We are releasing it for the God's children through the anointing of my Father. So we are we are showing you once you are part of the program, any blessing that will come to RCC in that place, you are catching the first. That's right. Mm -hmm. Catching, you are part of those who are catching the first kind of blessing for RCC in that area. And I know that once you catch it, it will go a long way to transform your life and your generation. And so viewers, as we all discuss it, Rima Cavalry Center RCC is officially moving out of Hacho. Hacho station behind the MTN building to our new place. Um, the Rima Embassy at Pokwasi ACP opposite the high tension bus stop. Our last program here at Hacho will be tomorrow mm. at 9 in the morning for the prophetic service. 9 to 1.30. And then just after that, I'll sit down and do my last counseling. My last counseling at Hacho. Wednesday morning, we are all moving to Pokwasi for the commencement of the 7th anniversary conference. Morning, evening. Every night, every day, sorry. Morning, 9 in the morning, 6.30 in the evenings. Friday, 9 p.m. for the prophetic um, 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 all night. And then the Sunday, the first Sunday of the conference, we'll have the morning um, service at 8.30 and then the evening, Sunday evening, at exactly 5 um, p.m. Then the second Sunday, you know, we have two Sundays. In the conference, the second Sunday will be a joint service where the morning and then the evening we are all coming together. All right, we are all coming together for the anniversary celebration. I'll be preaching, I'll be prophesying, I'll be praying for the sick who we'll cut the anniversary cake. Every member who will come would have to at least eat it to receive sweetness in your lives. We're going to demand heaven to be open on lives. I'm going to anoint everybody that will come. This will be on the the, 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 the 14th, right? The 14th. I'll be anointing everybody. And then I'll do feet washing for businessmen and women. Every businessman and businessman, I'm going to wash your feet under the oil and demand that wherever you stand, God will open doors for you and give you favor on every side. Don't forget that it's going to be super explosive and heaven is going to come through for us. The last day of the program, which is the Sunday, the anniversary Sunday, it's a victory service. We're all going to be in white. We're all going to be in white. So please get it. That's the dress code. And then tomorrow, I recall tomorrow, the direction came that everybody should put on white. Sure, yes. Yes, tomorrow at the um, prophetic service in the, after, in the morning. So that's, that's, that's for everybody listening to me. It's a victory service. And I'm going to lay hands on everybody and release power to come on you. The residue of the blessings we are living at Hacho, God is going to release on people. Mm -hmm. So I'm expecting people to come tomorrow. Hallelujah. Amen. Because of your last word, your last word, now bring my last word and then we'll pray for our dear viewers. It will be done for today. Right. Thank you very much, Daddy. Yeah. Um, my last word. But that I want to also appreciate you for the good works. Eh? Mm -hmm. Because... Um, you, you you have led us yeah. for this um, project to the, we, we salute you we salute the anointing on your life um, viewers this program 
is still a made for you. The step up, um, the, the next level conference with the team, step up. As you come, everything in your life, you are going to step up in your finances, in your health, in your ministry, whatever that has got to do with you. God is going to bring elevation, major increase. You will never remain the same again as you come for this conference. Come, No matter where you are, any, anywhere you find yourself, in Ghana and even outside Ghana people are coming from far so you have no excuse just um, find your, your savior um, uh, come and find, find you come and lodge here you can get it that's uh, right you that's can right. you can get and uh, focus when they come definitely sure, for the conference. sure so come and your life will never be the same again amen just your last word well, well, like Pastor Ima said, he actually took the wind out of my seat. Right? <laughs> and I'm not doing the same kind. Yeah, I want to appreciate Bishop for, for his able leadership. No matter the amount of money involved or available, if you don't have a good leader to expend mm. the money, sure. to go waste. So I want to commend and appreciate our Father for his affable and able leadership mm. to have us move into our own remind but mm. within six mm. years within six years and it has been built within, within six, six within six, six months, months. <laughs> <laughs> wow that's that's so listen i have always been saying that this program jesus is going to be available and my father's anointing is available if you want to encounter this to just come that's all i can say just come and you encounter the anointing real genuine anointing your life will be transformed. Saul was chasing donkey until he met an anointed man, mm. and he became a king. And the anointing is the ability to make you a king. Mm. Come for this program and let the kingship in you be better out. Amen. Amen. I also want to appreciate and congratulate our dear viewers, the Rima family, and the people, our church without walls, people who watch us and they see Rima TV as their channel and their, and their church. Um, I'm so grateful. Um, this few time we've been together. Honestly, we're able to do all this because of your motivation and, and we, knowing that people trust in what we're doing. That's why we've come this far. And so I'm grateful to you too. But don't forget, it's a step-up conference. God will lift up a man from the Mary clay and establish him upon the rock to stay. Nobody's in God can become somebody's. Finitives, prostitutes, the delinquent, rejected, dejected, despised, people annihilated from the society, and country the power of God could be lifted and be established in the Sakana glory of God. I don't know what you've been going through ever since the year began. God can lift you up and let glory radiate from your face. This is a must attend program. Honestly, if you're supposed to even take a leaf, please do that. I'm telling you. Because this will be a supernatural encounter. Um, Jesus once told um, Peter and some of his disciples when they came to ask him um, about tax to go to the lakeside and first fish. And the first fish that will come out, they will have gold in, their, in its mouth. Um, I believe the first people who are going to really come mm. for this conference, they will experience something golden. Amen. I, I'm certain of this. Amen. I'm certain about that. I mean, Jesus once visited a pool, the pool of Bethesda. And the Bible said there were five porches there and there were a lot of impotent folk who were sick there. And uh, at a certain period, an angel comes to stir waters. And when the angel does that, the first person that runs into the water, the Bible says, gets his healing. Which means that, yes, we're going to the Rima Embassy. But the first people will be part of this program. I believe that a miracle of a lifetime will be wrought in your lives. Amen. You cannot afford to be a dropout. Are you sick? Are you going through some marital problems, financial problems, business problems? educational problems health issues problems with your children whatever problem you have demonic attacks on you make it a date with the lord and i'm telling you by the time this program ends the problem will end amen and you have the cause to give god all the glory to him i'm excited and i can't wait to meet you don't forget tomorrow will be the last service at hacho i'm going to have time to prophesy every blessing that we're supposed to have at Hacho, that has delayed. Tomorrow will be the day God will supernaturally lavish it upon his people. Amen. You cannot afford to miss on that. And that is happening at Hacho at exactly 9 in the morning to 2. After that, I'll sit down for counseling, my last counseling. 
I told God, Father, have favor and have mercy on us that whoever that will be able to come, let the person catch something before he just leaves your presence. And then Wednesday morning, the program begins at our new place, unabated. I'll be glad to see you. So together we can praise our maker. But just, I would like you to pray for every sick person who is watching us. Those are the sick bay, those who are bound on their sick beds, that God releases them so they can come and be part of this August conference. And then, Pastor, you might you be praying for financial breakthroughs for our viewers, that financial doors, job opportunities will open for God's people. And after that, I release a prophetic anointing on people who are believing God to walk in this prophetic anointing like Bishop Goodman. All right, so you can do that. All right, so if you are sick in any part of your body, just lay your hands there in the name of Jesus. Jeremiah said, God, that is there no balm in Gilead? Why is the head of my daughters not healed? Mm -hmm. Father, by the same balm of Gilead and by the anointing that flows through the veins of Jesus, mm -hmm. we pray that let every sickness be dealt with. Man, Demons behind sicknesses. Ben Today to we adore you by the anointing and we declare in the name of Jesus, Jesus. leave mm. these ones alone. We command you out of their bodies. Jesus name. Let the power of God flow through you. So, and let the anointing of God permeate your system. Madaba. Let your system respond to the word of God. And let healing be made available. We release Amen. healing. Release. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for our wonderful viewers. Mm. The scripture says that I wish above all things that you prosper yeah. and be in good health. Yeah. Just as you're so prospered. Come on now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for financial prosperity on you. your children, O oh God. Whatever be the spirit of poverty against anyone watching us, we come against Jesus. it in the mighty name, in the name of, of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We release the prosperity anointing on our dear viewers. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on now. We prophesy that you will enjoy financial freedom. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the anointing on our Father Bishop Brookman be provoked mm. to speak for you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. The WhatsApp line will be there. Kindly send a wish, an anniversary wish for RCC. This program today is not for you to call and tell us your prayer request. We want, we want you to wish Rima TV. Rima Calvary Center, Bishop Edmund Bookman, the Rima family, a happy, happy anniversary. We'll scroll them from tomorrow with your number on the screen so that people will get to know what you have sent and the nice wishes you have wished in this very great ministry. If you believe RCC and Rima TV as a partner of this Rima family, um, God is really released a blessing upon you. I would like you to just send a whatsapp message just to encourage us and let us know that you believe in what we are doing and you are with us in the spirit father you told me to pray in this season as you are shifting my ministry to the apostolic dimension to release the prophetic mantle on 700 people whoever that is listening to me who is trusting you for this function pour this oil on their head amen let them prophesy like me and even more amen Take them to nations and countries to minister the mind of God. I break the power of the enemy against their ministries and I declare that their ministry will expand. What you used us in doing in six, six years in Ghana and in six months raising such work, I prophesy that that mantle will come on somebody listening to me who is into ministry. In times I had that father, the spell will be revoked from office of our life for her to have a broken through ministry. I bless your precious sons and daughters. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 It's been so amazing. Let me just read a couple of messages just in case we have some. Um, um,
they can still send them and then they will school them as and when the message comes. I bless you and I love you. You can see I'm very tired. They need me urgently at the side right now. I'm going to be there for the next three hours and then come back and come and prepare for tomorrow's service. Keep praying for us. We love you and we're so grateful that you care. Good night. Bye-bye. Are you Are ready you for the Next Level Conference? Join us at the Next Level Conference, a 10-day conference with two sessions. The morning session at 9 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Evening session at 6.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Date, 3rd to 14th July 2019. Venue, Rema Carver Center, Pakwase, ACP Junction, opposite the High Tension Bus Stop. Theme, Step Up. This Next Level Conference will host two mega all nights on Friday, 5th, and 12th of July at 9 p.m. respectively. Speakers, the Bishop Edwin Iwusi Brookman and his sons, Prophet Charles Hagen, Reverend Blankson Edu Okine, Reverend Theophilus Amen Mensa, Prophet Jedediah Bondanti Kobil, and Prophet Stephen Ochre, ministering Minister Akofa of Rema Void Season 1 fame, Rema Stars, RCC Mass Choir, Minister Ben K, and P.S. Adorable. Step up for the next level conference be not afraid only be strong and courageous for the lord your god goes before you and he is your rear guard this conference is under the sound leadership of god's anointed servant the bishop edwin Ewusi brookman